You throw a dart horizontally at a dartboard three meters away with a speed of 10 meters per second. How far does the dart drop by the time it hits the board? So here's the situation. You've got a person throwing the dart. They're throwing it horizontally, in this case to the right. The dartboard is a little bit lower. It's going to drop by the time it gets to the dartboard. We know the acceleration of every object in midair is down negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So now we have to put our numbers in the right spots. We have our X left and right numbers. We have our Y up and down numbers. We know the dartboard is three meters away horizontally. So that's an X displacement. We know we throw it 10 meters per second to the right. So that's an X velocity. Now we know we are throwing this thing horizontally, so we're not throwing it at all up or at all down. So my initial velocity in the Y is zero. The acceleration of every object in midair, as I said, is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And the question asks, how far down does the dart fall during its trip? Okay. I can't solve for D right away because I don't have enough stuff. I need three numbers to solve. So what I can do is I can solve for time in the left and right because I have enough things over here to solve and then use time in the Y because it's going to stay in, in the midair as long going left and right as it is up and down. Time is something that they have in common. So in the left and right direction, we have constant velocity. So we can just use our equation for constant velocity, d equals v times t. Rearranging that for time, I'm just going to divide the velocity over. So d over v equals time. My d is 3 meters, and the velocity is 10 meters per second. 3 divided by 10 is 0 0.3 seconds for time. So now I have three numbers here in the Y, and that's enough information to solve for the drop. I'm going to pick the equation that does not have VF in it. That's the D equals V naught T plus one half AT squared equation. V naught is zero in horizontal projectile motion. So since V naught is zero, I can make that V naught term just go away to make my math a little bit easier. So now I only have D equals one half a T squared. I don't have to do any rearranging. It's already set up for D. I just have to plug in my numbers. D equals one half times negative 9.8 meters per second squared times T, which is 0 0.3 seconds. And that number gets squared. Plug that into my calculator and I get an answer of the drop being negative, which is why it's down, 0.44 meters.